गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक एप्पल एट एन एक्सेल लाइन एंड एल्सो अलॉन्ग इक्विटर लाइन नाउ आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एट एनी पॉइंट ड्यू टू एन इलेक्ट्रिक एप्पल हियर दिस इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक डायपल हुज लेंथ इज टूल्व एंड दिस इज द सेंटर ऑफ द डायपल विच इज रिप्रेजेंट इज वो हुज लेंथ फ्रॉम ए इज एल एंड एल्सो फ्रॉम बी इज एल्सो एल क्लियर नाउ इफ यू एज्यूम ए पॉइंट पी दैट पॉइंट पी विच इज सिचुएटेड एट ए डिस्टेंस आर फ्रॉम द सेंटर ऑफ डायपल वो At that point P, we have to calculate electric field intensity, and that point P, which is neither be created along axial line nor e equator line, okay? That is along at any point. That point P, which is distance R from the center of the dipole, by create an angle theta. Okay. Now we have join a P and bp clear here you write that here you write that let us consider an electric dipole which is placed at ab having minus q and plus q charges they are situated by a fixed distance 12 that is 12 now we consider a point p that point p which is at a distance r from the center of the dipole Inclinedly by an angle theta. This is the angle theta. This is the angle theta. Okay. Thus, we have to calculate electric potential at that point P, which is neither along axial line nor equator line. That point P, which is neither along axial line nor along equator line, that is situated at a any point so that we have to calculate it. electric potential due to an electric dipole the dipole is situated inclined by certain distance r from point p clear so that that is the theory of that question okay this is the diagram now we have joined fp and bp so this is the point p and this is the a that will be join and that is also join so now we have join fp and bp derivation here at point p we have to calculate electric potential due to minus q charge and also we have to calculate due to plus q charge so first of all we have to calculate electric potential due to minus q charge okay after that we have to calculate electric potential due to plus q charge so electric potential at point p due to minus q charge it is given by it is given by b minus q charge which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not Minus q divided by r. R means r means this is the distance between p a. That is the distance minus q charge which is situated at a distance, certain distance from the point p. So this is the distance. So we write a p. But we don't know the distance between. But we don't know about the distance between a p. How to calculate the distance so that we draw 
a perpendicular line from A upon the extended OP. So this is the perpendicular line at points M. <coughs> okay. Here in that case OP is R and this is angle theta that's why that angle is theta okay if you represent that is theta and that is l so that is angle can be represented as what that is represented that is angle so cos theta equal to b by h so b equal to h cos theta that means h cos theta h means what that means l cos theta because this is the perpendicular line so it create an angle 90 degree and this is the base because theta is created by the base so that angle is theta this is base this is perpendicular and this one is the hypotenuse therefore base equal to hypotenuse into cos theta we know cos theta equal b by h so b equal what h cos theta that means l cos theta so that can be represented as l cos theta what okay here the point p which is situated very far away from d two point a and m therefore there is a angle between a p m is very very small that's why that two sides are nearly equal to each other so that side which is nearly equal to that side so that can be represented as r and this is represented as l cos theta so total distance can be represented as r plus l cos theta you write r plus l cos theta okay that can be represented as r plus l cos theta so b minus q which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by ap means what ap means that is r that is l cos theta so here we write r plus l cos theta so r plus l cos theta similarly it is number one similarly look to potential at point P due to plus two charge is given by B plus Q charge is equal to one by four pi S naught Q plus Q divided by what it is a P and the one is distance is b2 okay so divided by r means b2 okay now how to calculate the distance between b and p we know from diagram so the distance between op is r now we have to draw a perpendicular line from b2 upon op so this is the perpendicular line and it can be represented as n and that angle is 90 degree that angle is theta so that can be represented as what this is length l and this is theta so that can be represented as a cos theta equal to b by h that is the base so base equal to hypotenuse into cos theta h means what that is l that is the hypotenuse that is the base and that is the perpendicular so that can be represented as what that is base equal to l cos theta so here we write this is l cos theta what l cos theta we know the total distance between op is r and distance between o n is l cos theta that's why the distance between np equal to what that is equal to op minus one so that means r minus l cos theta 
if you consider the point P which is far away from the two points and the angle between N P B is very small that's why that side is which is equal to that side so that can be represented as R minus L cos theta because that side is R minus L cos theta which is equal to R minus L cos theta clear you will write the P equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught plus Q divided by R minus L cos theta because A N nearly equal to B P here P M nearly equal to P A which is equal to R plus L cos theta and that is also Pn equal to nearly equal to Bp that means R minus L cos theta which is equal to okay that equal to equation number 2 okay that's why net electric potential at point P due to an electric dipole net electric potential x p due to an electric dipole is given by v net equal to v potential due to minus q charge plus potential due to plus q charge so potential due to minus q charge from equation 1 it can be represented as this is the equation number 1 so potential due to minus q charge can be represented as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by r plus l cos theta okay so this is the 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 minus q by r plus l cos theta that is potential due to minus q charge plus potential due to plus q charge which is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 plus q by r minus l cos theta so you write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r minus l cos theta okay that implies here we taking common 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q is also common so q by 4 pi epsilon 0 taken in common you write minus 1 by r plus l cos theta plus 1 by r minus l cos theta l cos theta ok so q by 4 pi epsilon naught you write first of all represent positive sign that means 1 by r minus l cos theta minus 1 by r plus l cos theta cos theta that implies q by 4 pi epsilon naught by taking lcm for both this thing r minus l cos theta into r plus l cos theta you write so that represented the r plus l cos theta minus of r minus l cos theta you write so q by 4 pi epsilon 0 you write r plus l cos theta minus r plus l cos theta divided by r square minus l square cos square theta because a minus b into a plus that is a square minus b square so here you write q by 4 pi epsilon naught 
here r r cancel out that is 2 l cos theta divided by r square minus l square cos square theta r square minus l square cos square theta here the distance between op is r and distance between on is l cos theta in that case op is very large as, co as compared to on that means r which is very large as compared to l cos theta that implies l cos theta is very small as compared to distance between op that is r that's why l square cos square theta is very very small as compared to r square so l square cos square theta can be neglected okay arrow right arrow cos theta is very small as compared to r then l square cos square theta is also very very small as compared to to r square so we can neglect it so we can neglect it and square cos square theta means that is r square much greater than that of l square cos square theta therefore v net is given by v net equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that is v net uh, q by 4 pi epsilon 0 v net equal to q by 4 pi epsilon notch hat into tl cos theta divided by r square plus l square sorry r square minus l square cos square theta is there so q by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 l cos theta divided by r square minus l square cos square theta it can be zero because very very small as compared to r so q by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 l cos theta divided by r square so 2 ql means what that means p 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 2 ql means p cos theta divided by r square since p equal to 2 ql so that is the net expression net electric potential at any point due to an electric dipole that is the v equal 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p cos theta by r square that is the net electric potential at any point due to an electric dipole okay we know that electric potential at an axial line is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p by r square along equator line it can be represented as a 0 but along at any point it can be represented as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 p cos theta by r square okay someone asked to you what is the net electric potential at an equator line then you told that The net electric potential at an equator line is zero, but electric field intensity is exists. Okay, but other point electric potential is there, but only one case that is along equator line. Every point on the equator line, the electric potential is zero. Okay, thank you.